Yesterday, Disneyland and the New York World's Fair. Tomorrow, a project so vast, it has already been called a whole new Disney world. But the most exciting, the far, the most important part of our Florida project, in fact, the heart of everything we'll be doing in Disney World will be our experimental prototype city of tomorrow. We call it Epcot. So, um, just had breakfast. Didn't have time to really record while I did it. Um, but it was incredible. I got photos of it. <laughs> um, oh, sorry if I go dark, I'll just increase. There we go. So yeah, I um, had uh, you know, Garden Grill, which is a, what they call a family style restaurant where they just bring you kind of unlimited food. Uh, so I had skillets of um, bacon, sausage egg, and potato barrels, uh, a couple of Mickey waffles. And, um, with that, they have this uh, chip sticky bun bake, which is like a massive cinnamon roll with raisins and stuff, and it was all super, super good. <laughs> um, I can only finish about half of the sticky bun because I made sure to have a lot of proteins for the day. Um, and uh, asked if I could take the rest of it home, but I couldn't. Oh well, uh, so I can't have it for dinner tonight. Um, what else? Yeah, so now I'm in the queue for Soarin', and uh, yeah, this is like. Which is the best ride here, I believe. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to doing it. That was amazing. Probably the best ride I've done here so far. <laughs> really, really good. Um, I probably have to do it again later. Uh, this park closes at 11, so I can stay a bit longer, and some of the rides will have flattened down a bit. So yeah, but now I'm keeping for living with the land. So I'm uh, currently in Norway, just heading to Frozen Ever After, which I've got a fast pass for. Um, I went on Circle of Life and Living with the Land, which was cool. Living now was like a boat ride around there, kind of showing them all the plants and stuff they have. So I was trying to find how to get into the fast pass. There we go. Um, and uh, yeah, um, they were great. I went on the Three Caballeros ride. And with uh, Don Duck, Jose Carioca, and Panchito, which was fun uh, in the Mexico Pavilion. Uh, I had like a really cool indoor night thing going in in there. Um, and the kind of main restaurant inside there, it um, overlooks the water ride, which is awesome. Um, also, uh, yeah, went into Space Orange. And oh, hold on, to check in. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Sorry, just to check into my fast pass. Um, oh, my got the EV. Oh, um, and yeah, uh, just walking through the fast pass line to uh, Frozen Ever After, which is the new ride here. Oh, can't see me again. Oh, there you go. Um, and it's supposed to be amazing. Like, it's super popular because it's the new ride and it's based on Frozen, obviously. There used to be another ride, which never went on. And yeah, cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to riding it. Uh, and after this, I'll have lunch at Via Napoli, which is some really nice pizza. So, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
um, yeah, they have these awesome animatronics these days where I think, well, they've used them since Space Ranger Spin in the Magic Kingdom, I, I, or earlier than that. But either they project, like, an animated face onto the, you know, front, you know, the face of the uh, animatronics. So, you know, they kind of talk and their eyes move and it looks amazing. Um, and, yeah, when you go backwards a couple of times, which is cool. Well, I get the feeling. Um, the track is still the old track from whenever it was when it opened some troll thing. Uh, it's very creaky and makes amazing sounds. It's still really fun ride, which if you like Frozen. And it references Frozen Fever as well, which was the weird shawl they had on one of the DVDs. So, uh, cool. Right, on my way to Italy now, because I'm going to have some pizza. But the starter and the main came like at almost the same time, which, yeah, whatever. Uh, I had the um, salami and bologna cheese, which was really nice, quite small. Uh, it came with olives and I think there were some dried tomatoes. There were a little spicy kick to them, they were delicious. Um, I don't normally eat olives, but they were quite light. And I kind of combined them with the tomatoes with the cheese or the you know, salami. Uh, and it was all really good. Uh, the pizza, I had the plain uh, special margarita. And um, yeah, it was great, delicious. You know, I seem to be having like a very plain dinner here, but you know. Uh, I, I sometimes like to have good versions of plain things. Uh, I'm bringing the tiramisu for dessert. So that tiramisu was probably one of the best tiramisu I've ever had. Um, no idea what the quality of British tiramisu is like. Uh, <laughs> I grew up in a town with a big like Italian immigration. Uh, so you know whatever. Um, but yeah, that was really great. All the you know I like tiramisu. Uh, it's very plain, but you know this was great. How all the flavors came out. Uh, and the cream was really good. Like uh, I didn't think. You know, they really played a really different layer of the before, but this kind of really stood out. It was delicious. Um, yeah, great restaurant. Uh, and I'm going back over there now. In fact, I think I'm riding on that next. So, uh, see you over there. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> Hopefully I've got some of the weird pictures they took of me. They gave me some weird future where my driverless car sends me to work or whatever. Um, but yeah, very 80s. <laughs> I mean, this place had opened in 1982, so it does make sense. But yeah. Look, Maddie's, Maddie's catchphrase. That was really fun. Uh, kind of just sitting in a clamshell, reliving the story of finding Nemo. And then there was a really cool kind of exhibit showing off some actual fish. There's some cute almost dolphins on their own because as far as I know, dolphins are kind of assholes. Um, no, sharks, oh, sorry. Uh, sharks, uh, manatee, yeah, really cool. Uh, now I'm going to take a journey into imagination with Figment, which is, I think, the Epcot mascot or something. So, journey to imagination was quite fun <laughs> with Eric Idle in it. Forgot or didn't even know he was in there. Anyway, um, after dinner at uh, Mojoupou, which is the fancy French restaurant here. It's a um, signature one, so it's two tickets. I might have to change my trousers. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts, um, but I'll definitely have to take my hat off, so I uh, guess. Probably shouldn't record in there, as it's very, very fancy. State. Um, dinner was amazing. Uh, I couldn't record in there, so I got picked. Well, I did get one video, and you'll see that. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. I had a lovely bread, a cute napkin, uh, an amused bouche, I think, of some kind. It was like a salmon little kind of thing. Very nice. Uh, and then for my starter, I had uh, like a soup with a filo pastry top, which was basically almost like a pie. Really, really nice. Uh, for my main course, I had um, like a rack of lamb, and they cut it for me at the table, and like they brought over to me to with the cup, resting on a bed of rosemary, it smelled fantastic, it tasted perfect, was perfectly cooked, nice and rare lamb, um, and it had like some kind of like pureed beetroot and 
the stuff with it was really tasty. Um, I'm, I'm, as you might have noticed, I'm caring more about the meat than anything else. <laughs> and I had for dessert was this uh, little Lestia, which was looked like a Death Star. It was like a chocolate encased, a uh, bit of chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream, hazelnuts, pistachio, and praline, and a couple of bit of candied orange bits. Lovely. Um, yeah, it was all delicious. Um, and, uh, yeah, after that, I uh, went on the green mission on Mission Space um, because Test Track was broken. Uh, and uh, that was quite nice. I've heard it was like soaring in space. Yeah, it wasn't that as good, but it's still pretty nice. Um, and uh, then Test Track was fixed, and they have a single rider line. Not many have them in uh, Disney World, so I managed to literally walk straight on. And the people in the dark, it was fantastic. Already got a fast pass when I next come back. I'll be able to ride it in the little line as well and do it properly because we're supposed to like make your vehicle but because I could go straight through, I was able to. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just sitting down next to the lake because I want to uh, watch Illuminations. I've got a nice spot. I might grab a drink, hopefully, go to save the spot. But uh, yeah. So Illuminations was amazing, <laughs> um, really great. Uh, I remember, think I saw it like 13 years ago when I came here last, but I can barely remember it. It was really cool. Uh, I think they've upgraded it since then. Um, but yeah, uh, it's quite late. I've tried to sew on a patch onto my Disney bound for tomorrow. <laughs> um, didn't manage to do it. Whoops. Um, but yeah, I need to sleep now. Welcome to Animal Kingdom tomorrow. Um, got a lovely breakfast. Apparently the best character breakfast or meal in the park. Dawn Duck at Tusker House. Uh, and I need to kind of be leaving here about 8ish tomorrow. And it's half past midnight and I'm tired. Yay. It's going to be a good day. But no, uh, Animal Kingdom tomorrow should be great. Finish a bit early so I can actually, you know, sleep a bit for uh, big Tuesday day I've got planned. But yeah. Cool. See you tomorrow.